Good morning, Park Avenue. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful time in your small groups today. Uh, if you joined us for a sermon, you'll know that today we looked at the, the continuation of the civil war between Judah and Israel. Um, and it's, it's a crappy story. It's, it's, it's quite sad. We see um, Abner, who uh, finally realizes uh, Ishboth. Ishbosheth, you're a terrible king, a terrible person, and I'm going to accomplish what God had promised to David years and years ago and transfer the kingdom over to him. So they make plans and they do that. And then Abner kills, or Joab kills Abner for because he's, he doesn't trust him and he's bitter that he killed his brother. And and then also we see uh, Michael and her marriage being ripped apart because she was still married to David. And there's just like a whole bunch of instances in this passage where we can see that like the consequences of sin show up even if it's later and it's messy and it's not the nice, I guess, like anticipated coronation of the new king of Israel, David. There's just a lot of like, oh, really? This is how it's going to go? And so we see like instances of not dealing with sin with, uh, with um, Abner when he knew for like at least seven years that David was supposed to be the king and yet only decides to do stuff now. With Paltiel and Michael when... They have a wonderful, great relationship, but she was already married and decided to marry her anyway. And we see that with David and how he deals with Joab when he like curses him, but he refuses to actually do give him any real physical consequences for his actions. He lets him still be the, the ruler, the, the general of the army. We see that with like Abner has no remorse for what he did. He just chooses, yeah, I'm going to kill this guy and I'll show up, David, I'll pretend to be sad, but really, I don't really care. He deserved it. And just a lot of undealt with sin. You could even say with uh, David and his marrying at least seven wives uh, to this point. And while maybe not explicitly outlawed, is definitely not wise. And you see the consequences of those actions will play out further on but so my my hope that we take away from this story is that we would not be like that that we would be quick to deal with our sin and especially because we know that we are forgiven through christ and so we don't have to be to hold on to shame and guilt when we do sin because we're forgiven we can run quickly to the lord turn to him and deal with our sin because we don't have to be ashamed because we're forgiven and so that's what I, I hope that we're reminded of and that we do this week. And I, I pray as you guys uh, go through your discussion questions that you are blessed, challenged, and encouraged uh, to do that.